I have friends uh, who know you, and whenever they speak about you, that <laughs> you're <laughs> you're have the surprising quality for a neurosurgeon of humility, <laughs> which I think indicates that it's not it's not as common as perhaps in other professions, because there is a kind of gigantic sort of heroic aspect to neurosurgery, and I think it gets to people's head a little bit. Yeah. Well, that I think that oh, you know, that allows me to play well uh, at an Elon company yes. because Elon, uh, one of his strengths, I think, is to s just instantly see through fallacy from authority. Yes. So nobody walks into a room that he's in and says, well, God damn it, you have to trust me. I'm the guy that built the last, you know, 10 rockets or something. And he says, well, you did it wrong and we can do it better. Mm -hmm. uh, or I'm the guy that, you know, kept Ford alive for the last 50 years. You listen to me on how to build cars. And he says, no. <laughs> and so you don't walk into a room that he's in and say, well, I'm a neurosurgeon. Let me tell you how to do it. Uh, he's going to say, well, I'm a human being that has a brain. I can think from first principles myself. Thank you very much. Uh, and here's how I think it ought to be done. Let's go try it and see who's right. Uh, and that's a, you know proven, I think, over and over in his case to be a very powerful approach. If we just take that tangent, there's a fascinating interdisciplinary team at Neuralink that you get to interact with, um, including Elon. What do you think is the secret to a successful team? Uh, what have you learned from just getting to observe these folks yeah, world experts in different disciplines work together. Yeah, there, there's a sweet spot uh, where people disagree and forcefully speak their mind and passionately defend their position, and yet are still able to accept information from others and change their ideas when they're wrong. And so I like the analogy of sort of how you polish rocks you put hard things in a in a hard container and spin it. People bash against each other, and out comes uh, you know a, a more refined product. And so, uh, to make a good team at Neuralink, we've tried to find you know people that are not afraid to defend their ideas passionately, and you know occasionally strongly disagree with people uh, that they're that they're working with and have I, the best idea come out on top. Um, it's not an easy balance, again, to refer back to the primate brain. It's not something that is inherently built into the, the primate brain to say, I passionately put all my chips on this position and now I'm just gonna walk away from it and admit you were right. Mm -hmm. You know, part of our brains tell us that that is a power loss, that is a loss of face, loss of standing in the community and uh, and and now you're a, a Zeta chump because <laughs> uh, your idea got trounced. Um, and you just have to you know recognize that that little voice in the back of your head is maladaptive and it's not helping the team win. Yeah, you have to have the confidence to be able to walk away from an idea that you hold on to. Yeah. yeah. And if you do that often enough, you're actually going to uh, become the best in the world at your thing. I mean, that kind of, that rapid iteration. Yeah, you'll at least be a member of a winning team. <laughs> Ride the wave. <laughs>